And then around about 2009, I decided to take up a position in Tanzania for the Swedish government and I worked for them for a couple of years. And it's in 2009 that I met Yvonne. And on the same day that I met Yvonne, I met Helden and Adele. And it was at an internations meeting. I don't know if you all know what internations is. I know Nigel used it. And I met in, uh, Yvonne in 2009, and then I came back to South Africa in 2012 and managed to convince Yvonne to come. I told her I was extremely welcome. <laughs> <laughs> lasted about 20 minutes. And she, did, she did believe it. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She immediately went back to America after she found out I wasn't. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, but then I drank water. And I mean that's uh, that's around about eight eight years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I think uh, my 60th birthday. I think I feel very um, very happy with where I am today and the achievements. And I think as a, obviously as a father, when you bring up your children, you want them to be successful. And uh, uh, I'm not sure, but. Um, my, uh, both my children went to UCT and became architects, and then they both went to uh, Milan and did their masters. So I certainly met Alex doing his masters, and they live in Rotterdam today. And Bianca is making a meal of her thesis <laughs> in Milan. <laughs> and uh, so I'm going to Milan next week. And I'm pretty excited because I'll be having I'll be having my birthday dinner with my daughter in the week's time. And life's wonderful. I have a wonderful life in Cape Town with Yvonne. We have a lovely home. And I have a wonderful group of friends who made a huge effort to come here this evening and put on these bow ties. <laughs> <laughs> and they're very small. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I look forward to the next birthday. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, what can I say? <laughs> Happy birthday! Ah, oh, sorry. One very important thing, critical, is of course my mother, who's not with us today. And we are leaving tomorrow morning to go back to Cape Town. And tomorrow is my birthday. And so we're going to spend my birthday with my mother tomorrow, who's 87. And uh, if one spoke themselves, uh, in the 80s, and one's father's 91, and my mother's 85. So yeah, tomorrow's birthday day with my mom. So is it inappropriate to sing Happy Birthday to you? No, no, go no. ahead. <laughs> so okay. so okay. so you know, when they bring cakes. Later, okay. right? That's where you have the birthday. He's got the other speech grammar still coming. Yeah, yeah. Some more speeches going to happen. Yeah. I'm looking at the schedule. It's ish. What time is it? It's ish. This is ish. Yeah. So, um, I have some ideas to say that or something. Okay. And so he he gave a great CV and um, of his life, and he. <laughs> Um, told you all kind of what he's been through and where he came from and everything. And I just wanted to add a little more color um, to who he is as a man and who he is to the people who are around him and to me. And he, first and foremost, is a person who is dedicated to family and loving and um, absolutely firm and uh, generous uh, in spirit um, to his family. Um, his children, obviously, are the light of his life, and probably they don't hear that often enough, but it is absolutely, um, they light his whole face <laughs> when, he, when he speaks about them or thinks about them. Um, his mother, he's devoted and, and, and dutiful to his mother. He's always taking care of his mother, and 
um, and, and been there for her when she's needed. He's been there for his children, um, just like my, my parents have been, um, the safety net, and always um, been um, that, that rock of stability um, and love um, for them. Um, spending time with them throughout their lives, playing soccer, taking them to soccer matches, and WWE. Hey, we played a lot of soccer, hey? WWE. We went to WWE. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, so and, and still remains very close to this family. And also, um, one thing that I very much appreciate is that it's not his own family, but it's also with my family. He, my father's ill um, since January, and he's 91. And so I have to go back quite often. I go back and forth now every couple of months to America. And he has been nothing but supportive um, and absolutely um, behind me and with me um, on spending time with my, with my parents and, and being so understanding, um, even though it can't be very easy um, to, to, to kind of go through this. Um, yeah, but he's, he's always been very, very supportive. Um, the other thing that, that I admire about about him um, is his eternal optimism and persistence. Um, you have to be optimistic. Yes, that's something that is um, that I try to kind of get from him. <laughs> um, he um, is, you know, just a couple of examples of it. At work, um, he you know, he's looking at me like, what is this? Yeah. What's going to happen we here? Stay with the work. <laughs> Yeah, no, so one time, no, this is, it's important because it goes, you know, you know a person's personality, but you don't always know their character, and those two things are very different. Um, he's got a great personality, and he's always out there and, and, um, and loving um, and fun, um, but he also has a great character that I think not everybody um, has the fortune to experience or get to know. And so he is um, optimistic, um, and, 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 and persistent and, and has this perseverance that I've never seen and more so than I've ever seen in a person. He, um, one time at work, he had a, um, a, uh, a, a strike where everybody walked off the factory floor and so they were not coming back and the factory was empty and he's just dealing with it. He's just like, yeah, it's fine. It'll all work out fine. It'll, you know, and, and this thing lasted for weeks. And he had a trip planned to America, and he had to cancel that and everything, but he just deals with it, it rolls off his back, he, you know, he's just that kind of a person, that's something that I really admire about him, he just continues with life, um, and um, is, is inflappable. Um, he, um, he, you know, when, when I, we I'm moved, so nervous to watch you get. <laughs> <laughs> I, every single thing, like, what's she going to say? What's going to say? So you can turn around, that's fine. You can say it's a fire. No that's why she did it by the fire. That's right, it's a cover. Um, so, yeah, so, so when I, we moved here together in um, 2012. Yeah. yeah. And the sad fact was that it was hard, you know, he was working a lot. It was hard for me to um, develop a um, social network, which is why I am truly, truly grateful and feel so fortunate and blessed to have every single one of you in my life. Um, at the time, I was not so lucky. I wasn't in school, didn't have a job, whatever, whatever. Um, also, there was pressure from my family to go back. So I, so I made the very, very difficult decision to go back. Um, and it was about, you know, he and he, the whole time, was maintained that kind of optimism and persistence that he just never gave up and said, not going to give up on you, you know, no matter what. And he didn't. After about nine months, um, I came to my senses and called him up. It was the middle of the night, two o'clock in the morning. I was out. Eh? And he was out. He <laughs> the phone dropping up. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, babe, are you are you there? And he's like, yeah. And I said, no. Are you still there? And he said, of course I'm still here. How could I ever move on? How could? Why would I ever go anywhere? And I said, can I come back? And he said, absolutely. And that was just such a lesson in believing and have, having such faith and optimism. And it's just something that I've always taken with me and tried to um, internalize and kind of, you know, ha have that um, about me. Um, is that okay? <laughs> it's like he's leaving. He's like yeah, reading cool. Okay. So, um, so that's one. And then, and then, you know, throughout it all, um, one thing that I think is 
one of his best qualities is um, that he remains humble and modest throughout everything. He's accomplished so much. Being beaten down enough. And <laughs> you become humble by the time you get to the city. <laughs> no, but, it, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it really is a, a, such a good quality and, and, a, and such a mark of character. Um, that you've accomplished so much and you've done so much. Um, and I know that your biggest accomplishment is your children. And I know that raising them, you sacrifice so much. <laughs> you sacrifice so much for them um, and all of your life. Um, and with, with love, with absolute love and pleasure um, and with great results. You've been an amazing father. They are such beautiful, amazing, happy, well-rounded, you know, educated children who have at the whole, their whole lives in front of them. And that's due to their mother and to you. And that is an accomplishment that I know you're proud of. And um, that, that's first and foremost. Um, you've been successful in business. You've been successful um, in, you know, just being, being happy and, 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 you know, ha having people um, around you. Um, he's, Always bringing joy to people. He's, um, you know, I've learned the, the virtue um, and the, the value of bringing laughter and joy to people. He um, is always the person to make people laugh and to feel good. And you never leave his presence without having had a belly laugh uh, about something. And without feel, and, and it just makes you feel good. It's you know, it's like the endorphins in the brain, or whatever. But I don't know what it is, or just the, you know, and and you and you feel that. Um, and those of you who don't know him beyond his his personality, um, because he keeps himself very, yeah. very hidden <laughs> inside this little. Island. No one really knows. This is true. That's why I'm taking a while to try to just you know, um, even though they don't know you, um, they they feel. <laughs> Because when you have a person who has such integrity and is filled in love and, um, you know, it, it comes through and people know it. Okay? So, there were, so there's, okay, there's one more thing. Um, so three things were to play a little game. Which one of these is not true? They do it on the radio. Okay. So, one is, oh, what about you One is, um, <laughs> he is dying. Dive into the fire. Okay. <laughs> okay, one. What is that um, he once got onto a plane with cash strapped to his legs and pants over it? That's one. Just say it. Then two is. Uh, no, if people have to guess. Like, which one is the truth? Okay. Because okay. Two is. Two is. Um, he was once ziplined from one ship in the ocean to another ship on a cot, on a medical cot. Three is he was once arrested in Africa and thrown into a jail and stripped to his undies in jail. Which one of these is not true? I think that was true. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was obvious. They're all true. So he can tell you these stories. Like, he's full of these stories. And he's also embarrassing. But I think they're fascinating. And he's a fascinating person. Uh, wrapped up a person who um, really is, um, you know, lovely and uh, loving. And I want you also, babe, just to look around and to know that these people are here because they love you and because they appreciate everything about you um, and in a very real way. This is, um, you're so fortunate, and I know that you're so fortunate, and I know that the love goes both ways. And, um, yeah. Thank you. So, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Yes. So which one is not which one is not true? Yes. Uh, all of them are yes. all of them. None of them are true. Don't the story. I think we're going to I think we're going to laugh. I wanted to see you probably know. It was an episode of